You just don't get intro videos like that anymore, do you? What's going on, everybody? Today, in honor of the start of the NFL season, it's NFL Fever 2004. Cover boy, Peyton Manning, of course. Now, why NFL Fever? Honestly, I say why not? It is one of those series that I don't want to say is forgotten about, but you have to remember the scene at the time, Madden 04, NFL 2K is still running, and it just kind of left the Fever series in third place at best. They reviewed relatively well, but this was the last NFL Fever game that was made. Matter of fact, you go into the options here and go to the old preview videos. First and foremost, I think you're going to love uh, what this happens to look like but you get uh, the nfl fever 04 introduction video but you also get the nba inside drive and nhl rivals previews both of which were the last games in their series as well microsoft just kind of gave up the fight with their own game studio in terms of making games and just kind of not being able to compete but we're gonna check this game out i haven't played this in a very very long time we might get to some of these other games here at some point in the near future but i do like going back and just checking out these old games and hey seeing if they still kind of hold up of course especially right now my normal content a lot of hockey stuff it's not exactly in hockey season and uh yeah hockey interest isn't all that strong through august and and so on and so forth but it is the start of football season is it gonna make me sit through the entire intro video again it might boy no wonder why fever went under but we're gonna check this out i should note though in regards to fever, it was just okay. You know, it, I, I think that's what I remember it as is just okay. There wasn't anything too crazy about this aside from network play. You know, the online play NFL Fever 03 was actually used as, as beta testing for Xbox Live. So these games, of course, with them having been developed in house, uh, were right there on the forefront of xbox live play back in the day the dynasty mode is pretty straightforward and simplistic i'll actually show you guys this probably the coolest thing you can do i mean you can play old teams from the past there are seven teams i'm not sure how fully licensed they are but if you go through this little setup here uh well no we would like to change owner and we'll make our owner x so many x's and why not control the Cowboys for the moment? They actually had a pretty similar feature to what we have in Madden nowadays, which is the ability to edit your uniform and stadium. You can move the team to different locations. Actually, they have more options as to where to move your team than modern day Oh, then modern day Madden. Oh my God. Let's move to Albuquerque, but our abbreviation will be Dallas. And yeah, kind of similar to what we have now. It's like, hey, here you go. This is what you get. Here's your straightforward templates. Although let's be honest, something like the Crocs is actually cooler than what we have in Madden now. It really is. Shout out to Darula's. It was 2004. After all, the eruption, which sounds like an XFL team. Let's be honest. The firemen with the, the Dalmatian. I mean, come on. Some of these are better than what they actually give us in Madden. Uh, you can edit the uniforms there as well. But uh, eat your heart out. Madden 23. That feature is just a little bit better than uh, probably. It's at least on par with what we have seen in recent Maddens. Um, wanted to mention too, I know sometimes people uh, are a fan of me kind of going over what the teams look like. I think we could do that at some point, but this team is a little bit of a pain in the ass in terms of sorting things out. Um, although really quickly, I took over quarterbacks and I guess the uh, three highest rated players on each team. Uh, shout out to Jay Fielder still being the Main quarterback for the Miami Dolphins, Donovan McNabb. That's my quarterback. Oh, Michael Vick at a 90, 92 speed. No surprise. Of course, this was the time where he was directly a terror in Madden. 
Shout out to Jason Garrett. <laughs> it's always weird to actually see him on rosters. Mark Brunel, Byron Leftwich, David Garrard. Oh, David Garrard, what a guy. You have Vinny Testaverde, what a man. Joey Harrington. Brett Favre. Good old Brett Favre and Doug Peterson behind him. Gotta love it. Rodney, Rodney, Pete. Love it. Randy Pisani. Some guy named Tom Brady. Um, <laughs> what's the last time? Tom Brady was an 84 in this game and would never be an 84 overall ever again. Rightfully so. Out to Marcus Tuiasasopo. Oh, Kurt Warner rocking an 88. What else do we got? Kyle Bowler, 77 for the Ravens. Patrick Ramsey's up there. Aaron Brooks. What a player. What a player Aaron Brooks was. Matt Hasselbeck. Trent Delfa. Tommy Maddox. Ooh, golden age for the Steelers quarterbacks. David Carr in Houston. Steve McNair, RIP. Oh, Dante Culpepper. Free agents. Bunch of random dudes. Jeff Garcia. Oof, Cordell Stewart. Bring on Rex Grossman. Here's Carson Palmer stretching. Because why would you not? Drew Bloodsell rocking an 88. Jake Plummer. Tim Couch. Don't forget Josh Booty. Brad Johnson. Jeff Blake and Josh McCown. Drew Brees. Doug Flutie. The best quarterback combination in the history of the NFL. Cover boy Peyton. God, he looks so young. Five years in. 92 rated. Can't disagree with it. And then back over to the old Chad Hutchinson. So let's just see the highest rated dudes on the team. Uh, the three highest for each team. Sam Madison. What a player. He doesn't get talked about enough. Ricky Williams. Zach Thomas. Brian Dawkins. Top rated guy on the Eagles. Keith Brooking. Another great player. Strahan. Uh, not a bad one. Up there. Jimmy Smith and Fred Taylor. Love me some Fred Taylor. Kevin Maway's goatee used to haunt my dreams as a kid. I'm not joking. I wish I was. Oof, 85. Highest rated player for the Lions. It does sound about right. Darren Shoppa. Oh, God. Julius Peppers. What a man. The Patriots, Ty Law, Damian Woody, Lawyer Malloy. Love to see it. Also have to love, I mean, it makes sense if it's Orlando Pace, but, and Jonathan Ogden for that matter, but you gotta love when the old linemen get the the best shouts. Linebacker 57. Linebacker 57. 2000 NFL Draft. Some of you will immediately know who this is. I, I cannot say. Is that LeVar Arrington? It's got to be LeVar Arrington. Why would his name not have been in the... I, wow, I don't know why they wouldn't have had the rights for LeVar Arrington. That's very weird. Arrington's height? 6'3", 257. That's him, man. That's him. Very weird. Very weird. Oh, Walter well, Jones, Sean Spring, Steve Hutchinson... Yeah, if it wasn't such a pain, shout out to Heinz Ward. If it wasn't such a pain to, uh, as you can tell, properly sort through everything, we would. But back in the day, properly sorting through stuff, who needs that? Randy Moss, what a man. What a man. Highest rate of free agents, Mike Sellers. Terrell Owens, still on the old 49ers at this point. Olin Krutz. A bad Corey Dillon. What a guy. What a guy. Eric Moulds. Oh, man, this is such a blast from the past. It really is. Courtney Brown. Courtney Brown, though. Oof, that did not work out that well. Warren Sapp. Oof, we might have to use that Buck squad. We might have to. This game came out in North America end of August 2003. So, you know, we might just have to... Uh, do the old do the old Super Bowl from that year, which was Tampa and Oakland, of course. Oof, LT. I had it just parked on LT. I didn't even notice who it was. Priest Holmes, Tony Gonzalez. How Kansas City never managed to actually do anything with those guys, I have no idea. And by that I mean obviously eventually. Eventually things just, just kind of falls apart. But yeah, there you go. Just to look at at least some of the highest rated players. Let's get into a game. I'm gonna give this about 20 minutes. See how I feel about it? I don't know, maybe half an hour for having fun. Uh, I don't want a user profile. Okay. Play style. 
So, demands fierce level competition. Good players have time and great players have to respond quickly. Blah, blah, blah. All fever. Oh, come on. You can't steal all Madden difficulty. Let's put it on veteran passing style. Okay. I don't. I actually don't remember this. Trigger passing lets you choose a receiver and control the speed of the pass. Press a receiver button, then pull the right trigger to throw a bullet or lob pass. Bullet or lob pass. Those are two different things, my friend. Pull the trigger hard for a bullet pass, soft for a lob. Okay. And read and lead. Also, Madden 23 is just getting a new passing system, and here's Fever where it's like, yeah, we kind of have different options. It's possible to control the exact placement. Of literally the exact option. There's a high-risk, high-reward feature. Take you a while to be successful. Try the training camp. Interesting. So they literally have an option... We're gonna try it. Like that's literally what Madden has. Oh, dude, they have a dedicated button to make the quarterback the runner. If it lets me juke once I'm already running, I'm gonna be overjoyed because Madden still kind of struggles with that broken route throw pass. That's really weird that you throw with the right trigger, aim the pass with the right stick. I am about I'm about to throw a thousand interceptions. I don't know what the hell the differences are for that, so let's just go default. Play picker mode. Uh, let's just go for default. I imagine that's the playbook. Sure, we're done. This is gonna be really weird. Very, very weird indeed. There we go. Yeah, let's do the uh, let's do the old Super Bowl rematch. I am uncomfortably close to that man's face, but we'll get through it. Raymond James Stadium. All that looks good. Let's play us some NFL Fever. I am very intrigued by the passing now. Like, I've played a lot of Madden 23. I don't hate Madden 23's gameplay. Maybe because I'm at the point uh, where I was talking to uh, Soft Drink TV about this, actually. I feel like I'm at the point where I can just accept Madden for what it is, even though it's not amazing. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm intrigued to see. This honestly doesn't look that bad. I feel like this looked very... Similar and up to par with what you would see from from its EA and 2K counterparts. This honestly isn't that bad for the time. Who will we be watching tonight, Ron? JC Charles Woods. Honestly, the different camera cuts. This really doesn't look that bad. This game is 19 years old. This isn't on an emulator, by the way. I am running this physical copy on an original Xbox. And it looks pretty smooth. The graphics don't look that bad. Like, Jesus, no wonder why people, you know, the people who complain every year, but, oh, this game looks just like last year's game. Yeah, like, you're not going to get that crazy graphical improvement if this, from 20 years ago, doesn't even look that bad. Like, it is insane. Just from the Xbox 360, the one, and now the Series S, Series X. Like, yeah, it's certainly gotten a hell of a lot better, but it's not like the jump from frickin' Pong to the Genesis, you know? Uh, kickoff return, please. Turn middle. Oh, I should have returned left. They're gonna show me where they kick it, I guess. All right, now the question is, it doesn't look that bad. Excuse me, I'd like to take a knee. I'm scared. I'm scared. I wanted to take a knee. Please don't be a safety. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, let's see how running the football works before I throw an interception. Honestly, this isn't that. Whoops! Well, I hit one button and immediately audibled. Oh, God. Press white button to cancel. Uh huh. Okay, that's okay. So you hit wide of view. Okay. Run, Pittman! Oh. Well. <laughs> Needless to say, the controls are a little bit different. Alright, let's throw a pick. Let's do it. Y button to view the play. Look for Williams or Johnson, maybe even Pittman out of the backfield. And we're down. Okay. I kind of forgot. I, I just hit the button to throw the ball. <laughs> And I kind of forgot that's not how this works. 
Very weird that you have to hit the trigger. All right, we'll look for McArdle or Dilger. That is not who that ball was supposed to go to. <laughs> All right. This is very... Oh, God. Oh, that just moves on its own, huh? Okay. Well, at least I can punt. Okay. At least I can punt. In terms of getting my offense going, I'm not holding my breath here. Not one bit. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, God. Yep, done. Sure. Okay, switch with the right stick. Sure. Okay, well... That's a very good start. <laughs> First play up the gut. Absolutely gutted. It's so weird. You use the right stick to switch players. I definitely just hit the kicker, but I don't think that was a penalty. Okay. So the goal here is to see if I can score a touchdown. I might even settle for a field goal. If air catch is at least why. Oof. Good. All right. Let's let's get back to the running game. Back to the running game. See the play. Lead smash. Oh god. Oh Pittman. That spin move was something. No idea how the hell I did it. But yeah. So far we have not been able to run the football to save our lives. If we can hit Juravicious here. I mean, I completed a pass. I have no concept of how that system actually works. But I did complete a pass. I'm going to look for Johnson and Juravicious again. <laughs> okay. I think we're starting to get it. So you hold the button in which you want to throw, you lead it, and then you hit the trigger to actually throw the ball. Good to know. Good to know. I think we're going to get there. I think we're going to get there. That's going to be another fair catch. Yep. We're going to be okay. We're going to make it. I don't know if they're going to score on the first play again. They probably will. I'm petrified. I'm just going to try to run into some of them with Warren Sapp. Because that seems like the right thing to do. Apparently X makes you switch players as well. That's also horrifying that there's two different ways to switch players. <laughs> right. So Y is look at the play. But what does Y do once the play is active? Okay. Get your hands up. Knock it down. That was completely accidental. But good play by Warren Sapp. He's the man. So I'm going to guess it's left and right trigger. Try and shed. It has to be. Right trigger. Big spins. Nope. It makes me switch players again. I have discovered three different buttons that allow you to switch players. <laughs> Why are there three? So B, X, and the right stick all allow you to switch players. Okay, you can use the trigger to, to swim out of there. It's, it's you know, it's, it's very alien. I'm not going to say it's inherently bad. But it is very weird. Touchdown. That was horrific defense. <laughs> ooh, got some. Ooh, I like that. I like the, the play deal there, except for the fact I got pooped on. But yeah, that was um. That was some unfortunate defense. And shout out to Raiders fans, including one of my best friends. This is the dream come true. A little bit of revenge. You know what? For shits and gigs. Let's just try to return this one. So B is a spin move. X looks like truck. 
And I'm going to guess if Y has to be hurdle. When has Y slash triangle not ever been hurdle in a football game? You know? Okay. Nice job. Damn. <laughs> it's just, I think I'm accidentally throwing lobs, but I am like slamming down on this trigger to try and get him to actually throw it with some heat. It's one of the strangest. Okay, that time. Okay, he caught it on his own. Sweet. You don't have to hit a button to catch. You just run, and he'll catch it. Not bad. See if we can complete another pass. We're getting some momentum here. Gonna be looking for Johnson again. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> I swear there's like no difference between lob passes and uh, bullet passes at all. They feel the same. NFL 2K5 kind of felt the same way with the way the passing works. Sure a vicious. He took forever on that out route. My God. All right. Well, at least I completed a pass. I'm gonna look for Johnson here because they don't have anybody playing it safe underneath. Oh my God! Mission accomplished. I'm afraid to try to taunt. I'll be honest, Keyshawn Johnson. Mission accomplished, everybody. We scored a touchdown. NFL Fever 04. God help me, I had to put this on the hardest difficulty. I'll take that, though. I will. Go, not bad. Now let's keep it going. Hello, not John Gruden. Whew. The drive they locked out there. Now the question is, can I hit this point after? Yes, I can. It's an interesting kicking system. I don't hate it. All right, let's kick off for the first time, see if this ends up out of bounds. Martin Gramatica. I got a minute 32 left in the quarter. I can win this if we're playing to the end of the quarter. I got this. With my 17... Oh, God, no. 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 <laughs> I just had to make sure I didn't try to tackle him. All right, so remember what I said about possibly winning this. I may have lied. I may have lied. Oh, don't put a man in motion. God, he's fast. Okay, I have discovered something else. Left trigger also apparently switches what player you're controlling. I was only hitting left and right trigger to try to swim with Warren. And it's good. <laughs> Why are there like seven buttons that help you switch off. player? I am... I am very confused. Oh, good catch. Well, let's, uh, let's see what I can do here. Minute 17, the comeback's on. Look for Mercado or Johnson. Yeah, so you literally could do like a back shoulder throw every time to try to catch the defender off guard. It's wonky. It is a bit wonky. However, you know, it's not the worst. It really does feel like from Madden 22, somebody went back and like played NFL Fever for inspiration. That is 100% what it feels like. I can't believe that was a catch. Can I call a timeout? Thank you. Well, let's see. Can we get a touchdown before the end of the quarter? They're backing up. They know what's coming. What a catch by Keyshawn. <laughs> the defense... Leaves a little bit to be desired with the way they just kind of stand there and look at the football sometimes. At the same time, if I'm benefiting from it, is it really that much of a problem? All right, we're looking at Keyshawn in the end zone here. What a diving effort. Good read 
It's just funny when the ball's in the air, it almost goes slow motion. All right, let's flip that. Gardle, I believe in you. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> you know, it actually, it doesn't feel that bad. I should have looked over some of the controls a little bit more. Defensively, I do not understand at all why there's like seven buttons to switch players. It defies all logic to me. I'm going to see if we can get away with a run here. Probably not. Hey, okay. Not bad from Pittman. He did just hold A for speed boost. We'll take that. Okay, the real question, onside kicks. How tough are they? Okay, so you can aim it high and low. Just see what happens. We booted this way too much. Oh my god, I thought they were going to lose it. So my, my one quarter review for NFL Fever is it's fine. It's a fine football game that might lack a little bit of the polish that you would have seen from an EA or 2K title at the time. And I think that's to be expected. But if you were a 13 year old kid and you got this for your Xbox instead of Madden or NFL 2K, I don't think you would have been that upset. Unless you're as bad at this game as I am, in which case you cannot tackle to save your life. I still, I just, okay, well that's good. You can focus. There's more stuff to this. Like focus the run. Please pick that. Okay, that's, uh, that's at least not that bad. Let me try to explore that a little bit more really quickly. So you can hit X to essentially guess what play is coming next. And it'll adjust to it. I like it. I like it. Don't like the defense, but I like it. So overall, as I get pooped on by the Raiders, my review of NFL Fever, check it out if you can. But all in all, is it anything too crazy? No. It's just a solid, solid option for an NFL game. I don't think you're going to see too many reviews out there with the headline, NFL Fever 04, the most underrated football game of all time. It's not that. It's okay. It's solid. Clearly, it would have been third best behind 2K and Madden. But that just goes to show how damn good we had it for football games back in the day.